Hey, that was good. I still love how long it stays on the pillow box. <sighs> <laughs> Mark was like, Mark was like, I'll put the title in a little cutout thing, and it will just reduce the length of it. Never gets, it, never does it. How we were doing, chaps? All right, all right. And your good self? Yeah, my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know that feeling. Been up to much, guys. Now I went out on Saturday. You went out. I did. I went out. to Donk. I went. I went out. out. I, I actually went out of the house uh, in the car, like you know, and went to not went to play your weekly bingo. Not to play my weekly bingo. No, no, no. I don't play bingo. Yeah, you do. I'm the caller. Legs eleven. Oh God! I'm trying to find out who you sounded like then. <laughs> um, someone who should be not allowed within fifty feet of schools and playgrounds. Yeah, you're not creepy, supposed to, I was going to say you're not supposed to tell anybody about that. Like that creepy bingo corner you always have at like the seaside, those little slidey paddles that cover the numbers. Do you know what I'm on about? Oh like, yeah, those ones where you bingo. Can... Where you put where you put a pound in the uh, yeah in the yeah. Machine. yeah and you win yeah, yeah. tickets that cost you about nine hundred quid and sixty six thousand right. three hundred bingo wins to even get a fucking prize. That's right. right. And, the, and the top and the top prize is always something like one of those um, one of those hoverboard things where the your balance board and you're like oh, oh I got one of them. Oh, honestly, we had a caravan when I was about fifteen, right? And uh, at this caravan site, they had that one of those bingos, but. It was like you go into this room and literally every inch of the walls, or the walls, floor, ceiling, this cabinet in the middle, that was all prizes. And it had been going for fucking years. So that, And they kept every prize they'd ever put on the shelves. So you could still get the same, like, A prize that they offered in 1968, or whatever it was when they set it up. Awesome. So they got, like, some, some original Meccano or something. Yeah, mad like shit like that. <laughs> you, oh, honestly, it was so good but because we owned a caravan there. You'd go there like every school, like every school holiday, and you'd end up saving up like thousands of bingo wins and getting really cool shit with it. I remember I got fuck all because we saved up all these wins, and my dad got a microwave. Fuck it. So. What? And it got you got a microwave. I, my dad got a microwave with all the tickets from one, bingo. So, yeah, we won loads and loads of bingo wins. They kept convincing us to like roll over, you know, save them up for the next time we come on holiday. And we saved up like twelve hundred or something tickets. And uh, instead of us getting like four hundred each, and my dad having fucking the rest, we thought, oh yeah, we'll get two yo-yos and this and whatever. The wanker was like, oh, we've got enough to get a microwave. We'll get a microwave. And I was like, what? A microwave. Three holidays worth of tickets. I'm like proper excited to get something amazing, you know, like a BB gun or something like that. And he bought a fucking microwave with all the tickets. <laughs> fucking what an actual microwave or what an actual microwave? An actual microwave. He actually got you, got you a genuine microwave oven with bingo tickets. Awesome. Yeah, but I didn't get anything cool that I wanted. I was like my. I was saving up for that. That was that was it, you know. You go to the arcade, you get nine thousand tickets, and the thing you want is ten thousand. You wait and save them, and then you go back and you get the last of them. Do you know what I mean? I was saving up for this BB gun and a yo-yo, and we got a fucking microwave. A BB gun? Has it got a microwave? <laughs> oh fucking green! It's like the time I, I heard my mum. You rebel! I heard my mum talking to my auntie at my nan's house about what they were getting uh, us for Christmas. And my mum had already said what mine was by the time I got in the room. But I heard my auntie saying something about a paintball gun. And then my mum said uh, something in reply about this paintball gun. And I had in my head that that was what I was getting for Christmas. So I was telling all my mates at school, 
I was so fucking excited. I was like, yes, I'm getting a fucking paintball gun. Um, I even badgered my mum, I badgered my mum, I badgered my mum, I badgered my mum until she said, yeah, all right, you're getting a paintball gun. Leave me alone. Uh-huh. Uh, and it turns out I wasn't getting a fucking paintball gun. My cousin got a paintball gun. I had a fucking scooter. A scooter. <laughs> you ungrateful cunt. Oh, no. I'll just yeah. think about myself. I'm like, what? A scooter? I was, I was so excited for this paintball gun. Like, all my mates were like, oh my god, he's getting a paintball gun. We're going to shoot police cars. We're going to throw crab apples at people's windows till the police chase us, then shoot them with a paintball gun. We're going to oh, take on... We're going to take, like take on the military base with that paintball gun. It is going to be the best thing <laughs> ever anyone could ever get. We're gonna, It's going to be like an anti-tank cannon, and we're all going to have a go. And then I turn up on this fucking scooter and I'm too fucking uncoordinated to ride. And like, <laughs> where's the paintball gun, mate? And I'm like... This is uh, it. How long, the, how long did the wheels last, Chris? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> they were hard wheels, but although if you did a lot of skid, they they filed themselves flat. Yeah, they did. Which was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> how do you skid a scooter? They had like black brakes you jump, slam your feet on, so you slow yourself down a bit. You see, I never, I never had a scooter. I was, I was always told they were a waste of money. One thing I always, always wanted was a Mr. Frosty. And I was oh, never allowed oh, a Mr. Frosty. My dad, oh, Mr. Frosty. my dad tried explaining to me that Mr. Frosty were, um, were, were purely cheese graters for ice. And then we had this weird little cheese grater that my nan had given my mum. And it was like a, it had like this flat thing you folded over. It had like a little tin wheel in the middle. And you'd put the block of cheese in the top and squeeze it shut and grind the wheel and it would pump cheese out. Was it orange? Yeah. yeah I have one. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad tried to explain to me that that's all a Mr. Frosty was. And he grabbed this ice cube, stuck it in there and broke it. And then my mum got mental at him because it was like my nan gave her when she was younger. But they had a big row over that. So they put me off Mr. Frosty. That's ironic, isn't it? Yeah. That your mum, your mum's mum, gave her shit presents as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, though, you got to think, Mark, the reason you went into scooters is probably because by the time you stood up straight, you couldn't reach the handlebars that were so far away from the arms. That sounds about right, to be fair. Like, you'd have to... Do any of you remember that craze that went round? The monkey bikes. The little, okay, now, do you mean that you mean the you don't mean the little fifty cc ped thing motorbikes? No, I mean the pedal bikes, the monkey bikes. No, monkey oh, bikes, the t- the real tiny, like real tiny b- uh, bikes. Yeah, yeah, the little tiny bikes. Yeah, yeah, those they were they, they're effectively oh, like scooter wheels, aren't they? And and yeah, pretty much. Like you, a little you, bit bigger. you look like a comedy clown riding it. Yeah, before yeah. before folding scooters was a thing in the nineties. It was those monkey bikes. Mm. Does anyone remember the craze? I don't know whether it was just where, like, in the area I was, like, my caravan was. I think it's the area that you were in in the 90s. I was getting stoned. Well, I was uh, <laughs> nine. <laughs> <laughs> so I probably wasn't getting stoned. I'm not that much <laughs> older than you, am I, Chris? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> You're like 36, aren't you? I wish. 38. Something like that. Go on, how old are you, fucking? I don't know. Two. I was born in seventy-nine. Oh god, you're the same age as my sister. My ex-girlfriend was born in seventy-nine. That the psycho one. Do not. What the fuck? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Vape it on, guys. <laughs> What are you vaping on, guys? Tender there, what are you vaping on? Oh, you'll like this. Not a lot. You'll like this. There you go. Lost vape drone with the vaporous on the top with a rather snazzy... Look, it's not eight foot three either. Drip tip on the top. Is that nice? Is that focusing? It's probably no bigger than mine, to be fair. Well done, mate. There you go. I'm doing well on drip tips at the minute. And in there, I've got I've got to blame I've got to blame Mark for this one huh? because 
this isn't what's in it. Mark suggested getting some cloudy lemonade and putting a cool shot in it. So I I put some cool shot into the cloudy lemonade and it's awesome. It is uh, yeah, it's really good with a cool shot in there. Um, uh, that's my go-to at the minute. I'm on. Hey, the other cold, cold shot. Cold shots. I, I got right when I when I went to uh, jam. I bet that's not enough. Oh, there you go. They were, dish, they were dishing out these uh, one mil bottles. A one mil bottle. A one mil bottle, but it's. Uh, I'm assuming it's that's not less. one mil. Fuck off. That's one. All hold right. It hold, hold it next to something so that, we can see. That, that is a ten mil bottle. <laughs> I still reckon that was more than one mil. Yeah. yeah, and if I go for a, there we go. Ah, you got, isn't it cute? Have you got a syringe? Have I got a syringe? <laughs> I want to know how much is in that bottle. He did have a syringe, then it melted. I did uh, have a syringe, and I fucked it up. <laughs> did Nick, Nick it from your kid's cow pole? This is my cow pole syringe. To be fair, that is effectively what I've nicked. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I've used. But yeah, no, I was I was mixing some juice, and I used some cool ardor. And basically, my syringe seized up. I, I want to know how much that bottle holds. There's what no way says, that's one mil. I've got another bottle of it somewhere. It's in the other room. It says one mil on the label. See, look. now you look like Mark holding on to it. How much are they? I don't know. They handed these out for notes at, um, at Jam. Did you put the whole one mil in? Did a bollocks. How much no. Did you put it? no, I've put. I just put a couple of basically. Um, I, put a, <laughs> I put a couple of drops in my squonk bottle and mixed it in my squonk bottle. Right. Um, so I've added two drops. Two drops to ten mil. So one drop every five mil. Ish. Uh, and it's quite. It's quite potent. So what I've done is <laughs> I've got some of this stuff. So I'm currently vaping this with the cool shot in it. Change the colour of that label. It's now so orange. It? Is it now orange? Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's red. There you go. There's a there's an original red one. Batch batch number. Focus. Focus. One. one. There you go. So uh, yeah, so there you go. So I'm I'm vaping Iron Brew with a cool shot, and my missus said to me last night. She says, "What are you vaping? What's that? What is that? Because it smells like sherbet." So my missus thinks that Iron Brew smells like sherbet. So there we go. Have you tried Iron Brew, Chris? I have. I I did a whole bar. I just asked the. Audience, um, if a seller on eBay has got 26 feedback and one of them's negative, so yeah, I wouldn't trust them. Your, your audio dropped out then, Chris. Uh, uh, if a eBayer had uh, 26 positive feedback um, one negative, would you trust them? Oh. What was the negative? It depends, it depends what the negative is. If the negative is the, the bastard ran off with my money and never sent me shit, avoid then this, probably not. Avoid this seller. Didn't send my eye to no waste of time. And it was 36 quid as well. Is it a high value item that you're looking to buy off him? Uh, snow, snowball mic. And how much is the snowball mic? Well, offered 40 quid. Well, that's uh, that's quite a good. As long as you pay through PayPal, if he fucks you over, you'll always get your money back. They'll always favour the buyer. Yeah. Yeah, they will. Alright, I've made enough for this. Let's see what happens. So, what are you vaping on, Chris? Uh, I am vaping on Philip Box with um, cactus mojito in it. Have you tried that? Not yet, but. There we go. Uh, 
Jimmy gave me some, but it's not it's not nicked up yet, and the bottle's full, so there's no room for a nick shot in it. Oh, that's so beautiful. I haven't got round to I haven't got round to trying it yet. I have done a lick test on it, and gone. Ugh. Mark, was that your eBay? Is it you selling that microphone? <laughs> 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 I love it. You buy a microphone and Mark's uh, eBay goes ka -ching! Yeah, and um, in my other hand, well, in the evil hand, so I'm vaping uh, Brazzle Bubblegum. Fucking amazing. Uh, and then I pimped my ride this evening. I took uh, my new best friend, this fella. What? That's the blowtorch. Yeah, yeah. I took that to uh, a prototype of a new mod that would make you for Endless. And I took it to a Vulcan <gasps> Alpha Cap. I took, no. it to a, I took it to a Vulcan as well and I fucked it. Uh, you have to polish all the fingerprints out before you heat treat it, otherwise you can see all the fingerprints. Oh, oh well, but, that could look. That could look, look quite cool. It looks quite cool, but it's a bit annoying. Um, and yeah, so I heat treated it. Uh, not the body, the body's a brass sleeve. See the comp, the, uh, awesome. That looks quite cool. Yeah, I mean, the sleeve looks shit on it. I would have a stainless sleeve and, and a stainless button or something, but I was just fucking about. I was just seeing how it came out. Pretty happy with it. Remind me never to order from Grey Haze again. Ordered on the 11th of May, still ain't here. According to tracking, it's not even in the UK yet. Huh? Grey Haze are in the UK. Yeah, Grey Haze are in the UK. Well, is, it, is, that a, is that a pre-order that they've ordered? Because if that's a pre-order, you can't whinge as much. You can whinge, but you can't whinge as much. It depends what it is. Mr. Donahue, well, yeah. explain, elaborate. Yeah. Um, I used um, stainless steel. So I did it with copper on it, like a, a prototype mod that someone had given me. <laughs> I can't remember who, whose prototype it was, but I never used it. Um, it just looked ugly. So I polished that up, I did it on that, and that was full copper, and it looked fucking awesome. But, uh, did, yeah, I was wrong. Did anybody else translate the Nyong Jaluk comment? No, how do you do that? No. Uh, the, mayor the mayor requested vape on browse through smell. What the fuck? How do you do that? Did you just pop that into Google? Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. Just for sheer entertainment value. Although, uh, you know. Uh, okay. Apparently, results. I swear there used to be a way that you could translate directly on. On hang it. On the. YouTube chat. No. Mm -hmm. oh, I could do it. It just did a. It just did a Google search for it. Okay. There we go. So, Mark, what are you vaping up? Mm, I'm actually quite happy tonight. Um. Um, I'm, I managed to get something working that I fell out with from the day I bought it. Is that your car? Uh, yeah. That might be Anakin. Huh? <laughs> huh? The Minikin? No, not the Minikin. I hated the Minikin from the day I bought it, but I still use okay. it. Um, <laughs> I, I really, really, really hated Berserker. Oh yeah, I'm 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 not a big fan, to be fair. I what can't did you like about it? it? What did I like about it? Yeah, it's squonking and squonking and mouth to lung. I don't get it. I seriously don't get it. Berserker RTA. Oh, you got on about the RTA? Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's all right. No, it's my fault. I thought I I I, I didn't know whether you meant that one. That's the one I've not got on with. I haven't tried the uh, I haven't tried the RTA. Evening, Dale. It's a stranger. Hey, man. Um, 
Yeah, so as um, many people will know, I hated the Berserker with a Vengeance. Absolutely hated it. Could not wick it, could not build it, could not... I think... Jono, did you try and help me out, or was it... Probably Dan. Dan's probably got it. Someone, someone tried to help me out. And I couldn't get on with it. But the other night, I was sat here, I thought, I'm bored, I'm going to try it again. It was Kev. It was Kev, yes, Kev. It was Kev that tried. Um, and I still hated it. However, the other night, I managed to get a build that worked. Oh, awesome. What's in it? I managed to get a build, no idea, it was the ones that were in the box. So it's a point seven Clapton of some sort. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think the ones in the box working is an achievement. <laughs> you would kind of hope that they would actually be um, uh, made to suit the RDA. You would kind of expect that. Though, to be fair, with some of the coils that I've had, the stock coils I've had that come with RTAs, you wouldn't have thought that they basically just twisted some wire and lobbed it in the box. <laughs> Kev, better choice of words, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I played, I played, I played. I threw it across. All I had the then was play do 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 do. You've been watching um, too many kids' programs. I haven't been watching fuck all. Always anyway, so with a point seven build, uh, and ironically, all I'm running it at twelve. Twelve watts. Twelve watts. Twelve what? watts. I'm on my third, fourth day. On the batteries. Wow. That is mildly impressive. Started using the shorter one. I've always, always, always tried to build on the 5mm extension and the larger. Never got on with it. Always leaked. What I like about this in the shorty mode, in the 2mm mode, is it's warm. Even at 12 watts, it burns your lip. Oh. I, might I can't be doing with that. I might dig some cut my old bin box. I actually like a, a warm vape. And Chris will be impressed. Well, I actually got myself onto the Nick's on the Nick Salts. Nice. Woo! Nice one, Try that, John. Oh, I missed this. Moonshot. Do you remember that? Oh my lord, the moonshot. So Andrew, you, you like it because you get a nice warm vape as well, just yeah, I just, I just like. No, I don't. I don't like third degree burns to the lips. Don't get me wrong, but I like a good warm. I like a warm vape. I like to know I'm inhaling something. Um, in that I've got what am I vaping? Mango Passion from Two Source. Two Source. Uh, that's quite nice. In my other hand, I dug the Frankie out. Whoa! Running. The Frankie point four build on the solo, on the solo, um, and in that I is vaping elderflower and apple. The light is way too bright. Elderflower and apple from Jeffrey's Vintage Vape with a cool nice. shot to make it summery, fam. And apparently we've got the TYV Nick Salt coming soon. Good oh, on. oh! Good I told Dale fucking. Two expos ago, I think it was, or expo ago, about a vendor that had nick salt nicotine, and he told me, "Or oh, I'll make that shit work." Well, fingers crossed. We don't actually stock. Um, we don't actually stock any nick salts in the shop. Oh, um, I'm so glad they were doing it. But so are these are these Yorkshire vapor things? Are they nick salt nick shots? I think, I don't know, Dale, are you doing 10 mils? Are you doing 50 50 10 mils? Or are you just releasing Nick Shot, Nick Salts? Could be the switch in Nick Salt form. Because they already do 50 50, don't they, which is a switch. Yeah, 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 but that's regular. That's just regular nicotine, isn't it? Oh, I really missed the moon shot. I bought two of the extension tanks and signature tips I like to the merch. Chris, your audios are terrible. We're struggling. But I can't help it, Mark. My 
quite from the pro. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah. 14 flavours, 10 mil, 50 50 range. Good man, I'll be coming to you. Oh. I'll be coming to you with an order, without a doubt. Can't sell it in the UK, by the way. But if you send sell it to America, they can sell it to the UK. They can do 50 mil. Uh, 50 milligram. What the fuck is this? You're an Roman Uh Chandler, yeah, oh, we've done you. Sorry, Jono. What are you vaping on? Two suicides. Right. Um on one same as last week. Hothead. And it was the juice that I was said that we're gonna try last week. Uh, from Herbal Tides, which is the Mingo Slushy. I've been on it for three days. Sure. It's fantastic. No tells. It's brilliant. I love it. You're worse, you're worse than me. I love it, but look at that cotton. Three, four days. That's white. Yeah. Three or, three or four metres. I think I've got someone coming in. I I very rarely spend time in the shop now. Um, and Keith, our manager, <laughs> messaged me saying, Herbal Tides are coming in on Wednesday. Keith Chegwin. Keith Chegwin. Yeah, Keith Chegwin. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to have a look at some of their stuff. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to Dale's donut new donut range. I've got to say, oh, oh yeah, donuts. As donuts. long as, as long as it doesn't taste like play doh, I'll be happy because a lot of donut juices taste like yeah. play doh. Like how he's done it, like not but like donut as in like a dough ball. It's dough as in at home dough. Yeah. N U T S T Z rather. This is fucking taking. Um, got me the other one. I'm on the twenty seven hundred PWM Zombie. Ooh. With the Sherman, I thought I'd crack Sherman out. I had it out in a while. Takes a PWM. Twenty seven hundred PWM. Uh, and on that, I'm on the Suicide Soda. Orange. Let me see, let me see the inside. Oh, you can't even see it. Probably just parallel. But with the LED at the back, you'll be able to see. <laughs> oh, I like can the LED. That's can, you even, can you even see the voltage that it's running at? No. Oh, that's fucking handy, that's it. Buddy, I'm showing you bloody switch. It's PWM, it's just a voltmeter. Oh, it's old school PWM. Yeah, but red kicks. So nice. Dad loves this. What Vape Talk UK? Ollie, Ollie, my dad loves this. What Vape Talk UK? Or... That's exactly what I just said. Jump yeah. like that, or I'm confused. <laughs> oh, I do want to say one thing. Um, talk amongst yourselves. Um, this kind of leads nicely into. Um, what we're going to be talking about first. Um, Let's talk about how John looks like Severus Snape from Harry Potter. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, Got it cut. Turn your head sideways. It's what? Turn your head sideways. Oh, shit, you have had a cut. Told you. Fuck's sake, Snape. I need Go a haircut, hen hen hence the. Mark, why does your hair look so greasy? Because it's fucking hot in here. Looks very you look like greasy. The Undertaker. Shut up. <laughs> American, <laughs> American badass. <laughs> so, um, it's just reminded me, Mr. Nichols is just... Um... Oh, I think that's one of Ollie's kids on Ollie's profile. My mum doesn't. But that sounds like sleeping. My dad loves this. It's Ollie. This is this is one of Ollie's kids. Shall, shall we rig Ollie? Do it. <laughs> Does Ollie know? <laughs> I think this is just, put a loudspeaker. Oh. I forget what his boys what his boys called. I can't remember. I was going to call my kid the same name, but I changed my mind because Ollie hasn't done it. Ring it. Sorry, but the 
You're lucky he's on another call. <laughs> um, right, what were we saying? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> all of you know that um, Mr. Nichols makes incredible mods. Now, obviously, he was at... Um, collective at the weekend and I believe he has some stock left over um, some very 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 nice stock from the looks of things is that a squeeze no it's just a pico I don't know if he's got any squeezes left no I, I quite like the look of the pico they are bloody awesome yeah. incredible incredible Pieces of work, and the, and and they don't look. Looking at the at the photos, just do not do them justice. Because I, I I saw them at the weekend, and um, he said, "Take that, go outside and stand in the sun." And as soon as you stand in the sun with that it, your Welsh accent, my Welsh accent. Yeah, you just put on an accent that wasn't your own, and it wasn't Welsh. Yeah, I didn't necessarily do it intentionally. But it's, uh, yeah, no, I'm not even going to try a Welsh accent because, um, mainly because um, I, I, I think Chris would, uh, Chris, I think Craig would win in a fight. So, uh, not even going to attempt that. So, so if, any, if anyone wants to pick up one of um, Craig's incredible mods, I believe he has some available. Sorry. But yeah, no. You hold you hold one of his one of his mods in sunlight. When sunlight hits it, you suddenly get this real three D effect. It, it just glistens in it, and you can see right the way through the um, the, the 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 plastic, acrylic. the acrylic. There you go. <laughs> you can see right the way through, and you can see all the sweat, and you just get this incredible three D effect with it that you just can't see on a on a picture. I feel like a complete left letdown. It, um Craig and his missus popped by on the way up to um um collective and he dropped me off a t shirt I've just spotted Chandler's and I actually bought it home from work today to wear tonight. <sighs> and you're not wearing it. And I completely forgot. Where is it? I think it's on the back seat of the car. Oh, okay. Oh, that's terrible. But no, he got he got some of his stock out of the boots of his car. To, and honestly, they look incredible. They look incredible. They're nice t-shirts. I don't know if I if I I've not got much room in here. I don't know if I can turn around. I'm going to, have to take my headphones off. Hang on. Can you see it? So, banana, aardvark, wibble. That is their mission statement. There you go. I don't wibble. Wibble, just awesome. We we all need mission statements. I like that. See, I'm wearing something they got from Walmart. What are you correct? wearing? No, I'm saying something that I got from you. <laughs> Cheap thrills. Chris. Yes, I just clicked. I clicked. What's that? It sounds like on his wife. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all right. I just didn't want to tell him or her to hear whatever we were saying that was naughty. <laughs> we don't say naughty words. We, we, no worries. See you later. You're live on Facebook, by the way. Say hello. Hi, okay. Rage. <laughs> oh, oh, that is so funny. She went in there and says to. to Darcy, um, are you on YouTube or Daddy's laptop? Is Darcy the boy or the girl? Girl, girl. Did uh, I was just um, uh, watching YouTube videos and she goes, was uh, one about vaping? Well, I was watching the vaping talkings uh, <laughs> and it was talking and uh, she's like, can you not watch that? Please? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, he's got no signal. That's why uh, he didn't answer us. What did you, who did you ring, Rach? I rang Rach, yeah. <laughs> I just don't trust what we're going to say. You know yeah. what I mean? There's probably yeah. a good chance we're going to say something that might traumatise that poor child. <laughs> Uh, and, and and at least you know we are being responsible. When we realise there are underage viewers, we call their mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. So then, Baby Collective. Unfortunately, oh, I yes. couldn't make it this weekend. Uh, Chris is too far away. Jono, what was your crap excuse? I could not afford it. Mine was a good excuse. I couldn't even afford the fuel to go, which is absolutely embarrassing. Oh, that's terrible. It's only down the road. So, you can walk. So I'll, get, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you 35 quid for your vein pop. <sighs> oh, you should have said I'd come and, I'd have come and fetched you. Oh. Give you 35 quid for your vein pop. Did you drive or did Jimmy? Me? I, uh, I drove. Jimmy drove up from Wisbeach. Ah. So, so yeah, I just, I, I just know if Jimmy gave you a lift up. No, Jimmy drove. Jimmy drove drove up from. He would have had to have driven effectively driven past to get here. So, so how many wheels did you have left in your car when you got back to it? Uh, interestingly, four. It was good. Did six wheel that? Well, then they beat up that. You didn't go to Wisbeach, so. though. I didn't go to Wisbeach. Oh, did you park park it at Cambridge? <laughs> It's Doncaster. It's Jim, safer. Jim, Jimmy took the whole family with him. Well, that did. that 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 would be unfortunate from what I've heard about the raffle. Anyway, let's talk about. Um... <laughs> wait, 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 wait! What happened in the raffle? Anyway, <sighs> anyway, how was the weekend? Let's start on a um, <laughs> let's start on a positive. Well, I took my daughter, so my my eight year old came as well. So it was uh, I met up with Jimmy, who'd, who'd taken his uh, his uh, three three lads. Um, and uh, I turned up with my eight-year-old Izzy, um, and she had a whale of a time. And there were quite a few families there, so there was uh, there were what a few was, kids kicking about. What was her favourite juice? What was her favourite juice? She, um, yeah, she she wasn't too keen on the uh, on the vapor puffing side of things. She calls it a vapor puffer. Oh, what? Well, so, <laughs> a vapor puffer. <laughs> Brilliant. Daddy, have you got your vapor puffer again? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a vapor puffer. I, uh, my kids call it a fake bag. They call it what? Fake bag. A vape bag. Fake fag. Oh, fake fag. Oh, okay. See, I told you your audio's shocking. Yeah, and I told you my mic's busted. I've got a new <laughs> one. <laughs> well, I'm trying. I've got my headphones on. I'm listening. Check this out. We were we were down at this in the local town. And there was a sign for a market, and we had this: the fag man. The fag man. Let, okay. let me present you. The famous fag man. The famous fag man. Yeah. Famous the fag oil. Man. The oil e-cigarette. What do you? What you fill it up with petrol? Yeah, it explodes. Take your head, it takes your head off, and yes. obviously you're then never going to smoke another cigarette or do anything else. The fag man said, "Want to stop smoking? Tried, <laughs> failed, then come inside and see. Famous fag man, let's help you succeed with the oil e-cigarette. Try before you buy. Most smokers reduce their cigarettes by half in the first week with our product." Starter kits, American and UK made juices, uh, large range of tobacco and flavoured juices. Come and see our large range of e-cigarettes and products. Well, and he called and he, and he called himself the Fag Man. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. I didn't see him. I didn't go to see him. <laughs> Can't say the sign appealed to me, but. Uh, so, Chandler. Yes. Collective, talk to me. Talk to me. It was. It was. It was okay. It was. Uh, it was on a. It was cricket pitch. It was a cricket club. So it was out on the on the on the cricket pitch, and obviously we weren't allowed on the square in the middle. 
So the tents were around the square in a kind of U shape. There was the uh, vapor round bus was there. There was right. This is off the top of my head. Jimmy, remind me if I forget. Uh, uh, if I forget, no, it's not a tag team match, Chandler. You can't fucking call in for, for reinforcements. Well, Jimmy was play. there as well. You ought to get Jimmy on because he was there as well. No one else here. When I- I'm actually just talking to. Jimmy, I want you to have your say before oh, I... Oh, you're going to get me to get... Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, fair yeah. enough. I, I want the positivity before the negativity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was... It was. I liked it. It was a mini... It was a mini fest. And uh, I described it to Jimmy as it was more of a... Uh, well... Um, yeah, it was... A, fest is a festival. There's a shit ton of people there. Whereas this was more like a village fate. <laughs> um, but not ne- not necessarily in a bad way. Um, it was a it was a village fate where, you know, I knew people and um, custom mods, uh, Vulcan Brothers were there, Craig was there, uh, um, Pete uh, who's uh, Pete makes custom coils and, and he was selling the coily. Uh, you know the one, the the piece of plastic where you drop your coils in and you just snip them off at the bottom, and then the legs that are exactly the right length to put them in your RDA. Yeah, I'm gonna um, let me let me Google coily and I'll show you. Uh, uh, uh. It sounds it sounds like a, an Irish man saying coily. Coily, coily, that's coily. a coily, 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 coily vape tool. There it is. So all in all, all in all, then Chandler, as as far as weekends go, was it a good weekend? Did you have fun? I enjoyed it. It was uh, it was quiet. There there's there is no getting around it. It was um, it was quiet. Um, I I mean, yeah, you you weren't you weren't beating beating the hordes away with a big stick to get near any of the stands and. Yeah, there could have been more people there, but as an event, what do you think that was down to though the the, the the lack of attendees was that was that down to the vendors? Was that down to the well, organisers? Well, I'll, I'll be. I'll, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a tricky one. I'll be I'll be fair. Jono, can you refresh? Yeah. A couple of weeks beforehand, Craig uh, Craig sent me a message going, uh, it was about six weeks beforehand, sent me a message going, are you going to Collective? And I suddenly went, oh, I completely forgot about that. I'm going to have to check the dates because I, I, had, I hadn't booked anything off work or anything. Um, it, it had just kind of dropped out of my head because I don't hear anything about it. I mean, social media, Facebook, um, alternative uh, alternative YouTube channels um, weren't mentioning it. It was it was kind of seemed to be getting a bit. Uh, yeah. So after I mean a lot of people were going after ex- after Expo. Oh, the next event is going to be uh, is going to be Vape Fest in August. It's like well, the collective. It, it it wasn't really getting pushed, and I don't know. It's hard to work out who is responsible. Uh, ultimately, I suppose the book lands with the organisers, doesn't it? Um, because it's not down to the it's not down to the vendors to get people there. The, the The people may go to see specific vendors, so if you get the right vendors, you'll get people going. But it's not their job to get people to go. They're paying the organisers to get the footfall. Uh, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, Mark. If you're going to an event and you're not getting the footfall. You're going, yeah, well, I'm not, you know, it's not up to me. I, I'm paying people to get people to come to, to see me. You're expecting a certain footfall when you uh, when you go, aren't you? How many people oh. visit them the weekend? I don't know. And, I don't, and, and um, from talking to talking to people yesterday evening, uh, yeah, yeah, yesterday evening, Sunday was, Sunday was better than Saturday. Uh, it was busier. Which doesn't surprise me because it was a nice day Sunday. Um, did you go both days then? I didn't. I only went Saturday. Oh. So uh, yeah. So yeah. So I just went Saturday. 
Do you they got leaflets in like, local vape shops close to it? Say again. Do you reckon they got leaflets into vape shops close to the uh, the venue? There weren't any in Sheffield. I know we're not we're not um, miles away, um, but there were not there weren't any there weren't any leaflets in Sheffield. And I, went, I, went I didn't to... I didn't see any I didn't see any signs either. Jimmy uh, Jimmy might correct me, but because uh, he told me he said, "Oh, I just followed the signs and found the place." Um, Obviously, I came in from the different side of Doncaster, and I didn't see any signs for Vape Collective until I was virtually on top of it. You see, we went to um, the first one, and the first one, I enjoyed it. It, 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 it It's unfair to compare it with Fest, because obviously Fest has been yeah. years and years and years. But, it is. You know, the first Vape Fest, it was like half a dozen people in a pub. It was... Yeah. It was and, it was small, and it's it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger over the years. Um, yeah, and 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 considering the considering the the the, the, the footfall, I, I wonder whether people just got lost in the because obviously you've got all the tents and everything, but the amount of raffle tickets that were sold, and there was quite a few people sat um, near the because they've got the pavilion open, so you could buy drinks at the bar. So there was a lot of people sat drinking, uh, as you would. Um, there was a lot of raffle tickets sold, so <laughs> I think there was more more folk. But like you say, um, it needs to grow. I don't. I really hope there's another one next year because I'm going to go again next year. Do you think it's likely to to grow? I think it could do. It wouldn't take uh, it wouldn't take much to promote it, and all all it needs. All, all it needs is like a Facebook group to go, right, we're going, uh, whoever it may be, say for vapors, be it whatever, to go, right, we're going, we're going to have a, uh, we're going to take some tents, let's get a few people to come and meet and turn it into a bit of a meetup. And as soon as that happens, um, you're, getting, you're getting all the people coming for the social thing, and it will start picking it up. Because that's what a lot of people do for Fest, is it's a case of, let's go to Fest and meet up, and you've got the Safer Vapors tent, and, and you've got whatever. Yeah, you're getting people, yeah, you've got the people meeting up to uh, on, on the social side, and as soon as you start getting people doing that, you see, uh, Donny. That, that's what confuses me, because it's not easy to get a stand at Fest. No, it's not. You're not just given a stand. No, it's an invite only. only. You're running. <laughs> we've, we've been running the Chris, so. it sounds like you're having a pee. Oh, I'm uh, trying to get a drink out of this fucking thing. <laughs> it's going so slow, slow now. I'll show you that. This is Chris's can. Yeah, so it's, it, it's not, not necessarily easy to get a stand at first. There you go. Something that you've got to be invited to do and everything else, which is why you know I'm quite surprised. You know, um, collective wasn't expensive to vend, you know, it was it, it's pretty much the Midlands, isn't it? It's not, it's in the middle of the country, it's it's, so, it's, it's very easy to get to. You've got it, you can you can get to it from the M1, M1, M18, uh, of the it's off the A1. So, position-wise, if you're coming down from the north, you come straight down the A1. Um, yeah, it, you know, it's quite easy to get to. Yeah, I've heard through the grapevine a few vendors pulled out at the last second, and it was literally like the night before. Really? Yeah. Which yeah, that's hard. Is that is hard. Yeah. One of, I mean, one of the lads who went, who were vending, um, Jordan from Anonymous Coils. He was from supposed what to... coils? It's what? From what coils? Anonymous coils. Is that anonymous. like anonymous? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, he didn't even oh, have a sign up. He just had a tent. He didn't need to be known. That would happen. Oh, my kick's dead. So, oh, he was supposed to be vending with somebody. I can't remember who, but they backed out. And there were a couple of others. But from first collective, I loved it. 
I love the first collective. The first collective is oh. really, really yeah. good. Yes. I love the I love the event. Um it got a really it got a really nice feel to it. Everyone was, you know. Well you know what I've ate the little heads like. Everyone's like, oh hello, they'll talk to, they'll talk to you, they'll show you what they've got. And you can talk about all sorts of shit. Evening, Jim. Good evening. So we have Mr. Parker joining us. I do. Good, good old Jimmy the Brazilian Parker. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How are we all? We seem to have. have it, no, please, please note I have avoided talking about the raffle. Other than, say, yeah, other than saying they sold quite a few tickets. Jimmy, you look like an 80 year old man who went for one too many pints just before lunch and then he slept two afternoons and he's just woken up. You look like a 24 year old bloke who's had too many fucking pies. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Is your bed real or did you put a bit of stick on your face and go down on uh, some big bed? No, no, it's definitely real. Um, is yours from a scarecrow? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't even argue with that. I was going to say, I thought you'd nicked it from a passing Amish man. You, you can't say fuck all. You look like a paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> you, look like a, you look like a primary school paintbrush. You know the really fucking long ones with a thick handle. Yeah, yeah. With, only, with only like two or three hairs sticking out the end. <laughs> <laughs> So the re the reason we brought Jimmy in is because um, Chandler is very very polite and and um, Jimmy's not. So um, Jimmy, Jimmy tells Jimmy tells it how it is. Chandler's too reserved for this shit. Uh, yeah. Well, Jimmy. I, I... Jimmy, how did you find Collective? Uh, Collective was. Absolutely fantastic, and it needed to be better attended. Um, yeah. It was uh, not well publicised by any stretch of the imagination, um, and there was a lot better that could be done with it. Um, sorry, I was just trying to turn my snowball on. The snowball is not working. Um, yeah, um, yeah, it could, it could have been a lot better. Um, what could they have one massive it? downside to what could be done to improve it? Yeah, um, better publicity, more Definitely. people attending it, and, and not trying to think that it's just going to be another fest because it's not. I think, um, I, 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 like, like I say, there wasn't. I, 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 well, you know, I don't go into into local vape shops uh, on a regular basis, but I, I've been in a couple relatively recently. And um, one shop I went into didn't even know about it. No. Um, how, like, far, how far collective? away are you from? How far away is that shop from the event? Half hour drive at most. That's terrible. Um, yeah, it's actually terrible. You've got, it's it's Sheffield, Rotherham, Doncaster. You should so. literally be on the phone to every vape shop and be like. Oh, yeah, probably a hundred mile radius. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's it going to take? Five, take five minutes of call, and take a day to make the calls. That is fuck all work to get yeah. that level of publicity. You make a call, you tell them about the event, you ask if they want emails and flyers to print out. It doesn't yeah. cost you fuck all to send an email. Anyone who's anyone has got a fucking uh, a contract phone with unlimited minutes. Do you know what I mean? It would not have cost them a penny apart from eight no. hours of manpower, if yeah. that. A bit, a bit of time, a bit of time making phone calls, popping in. Um, I, I was going to say, effectively, I was doing their job for them because I told them what it was. You know, it was. Uh, but I, I agree. I mean, at the end of the day, it wouldn't have took a lot to publicise it better, um, even even on social media. Yeah. Social media is going to be the key to, to mm. any of these events from now on. You know, social media, you can't afford not to have decent social media. You can't afford to not have someone pushing it. Um, the thing that lets it down is that, obviously, 
this event is under so much scrutiny at the minute because of the, the the lack of people that went and because it's it's in its infancy and as you've said already fest started with 12 people in the pub this is such so in its infancy that they can't afford to make stupid mistakes which is one thing they did this weekend they made one very stupid mistake that was watched by everybody <laughs> Do elaborate. The fucking raffle. The raffle was fantastic. It was all for a good cause. It was mm. it was money going going to a children's charity. Um, they were trying to support a local children's charity, which is an absolutely fantastic thing. The guy who then jumped on the microphone who was drawing was um, swearing. And was being abusive. But even before the raffle had started, he shouted out, Come on, everybody, get your fucking asses down here. And he had a row of kids, seven or eight year olds, stood in front of him. And it was publicised as a family event. Yeah. Right. Can I, I mean, just. I've got an eight year old. I have to say, I've been doing some research. And there are 52 listed vape shops within a 20 minute drive from the event. 52. None of them even go as far as Sheffield. No, that was that's not going to be that's not going to be anywhere near to Sheffield. So um, there's fifty-two in that area, right? Yeah. And I would put money on it that none of them were told specifically or given flyers or information about that. Probably not. I, 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 I think I think they I, I think they heavily relied on the Facebook group and word of mouth. And I think it was more word of mouth than anything. Yeah. The only advertisement I, I saw was actually on the collective group. That's the yeah. only advertisement. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Someone told, someone told me about it before Christmas, and I went, fabulous. It's down the road. I'm going to that. And had Craig not mentioned it to me because he was because he was vending, and, and had he not said something to me, I could very easily have been sat here today going, shit, was it collective last weekend? I, yeah. I could yeah. very easily have missed it. Not being funny, but the place where they don't want to be advertising it is on their own group. The place where they want to be advertising yeah. it is on the Vape Talk Facebook group, the OS Facebook group, our group. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they want to be pushing it out there. They don't want to keep it on themselves, otherwise it's never going to grow. Mm. Vendors groups as well. People who are vending. Yeah. 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 They They should have had some kind of incentive to do so. I mean, they they all put up absolutely fantastic prizes for the for the raffle. Yeah, they did. absolutely fantastic, and a lot of monies worth of gear went on that raffle. A lot. It's Basically, just um, yeah. that that really did me in. I mean, Chandler turned up just before they were wrapped. They were doing the raffle because as per normal, turns up late. Sorry, Chandler. How do you pronounce your surname? Chandler. Why is uh, Jimmy saying Chandler? Right, I grew up. Yeah, why am I saying Chandler? Because I because I, I don't. Because I grew up in Wisby, <laughs> and if you ask my dad, or if you ask me when I lived there, what my surname would be, it would be Chandler. <laughs> Jimmy, that face of it all, you were old in Batman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I drive my dad. Sometimes, I drive... sometimes you can't you, you can't kick a special needs kid, but he's down like Chris. You know, you gotta let him gotta let him just yeah. take that rope, and just go with it. <laughs> yeah, I drive my I drive my dad up the wall by pronouncing my surname Chandler because it 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 really it really grinds on him because um, my surname technically is Chandler. It's right. I was just fucking with him because I pronounce it Chandler as well. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah. There you go. You know, you've got one thing right tonight, Chris. Well played. Uh, <laughs> fuck off, Bodie. Yeah, I'm going to be talking. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Back to the raffle. Getting back, getting back to the raffle. Chandler turned up and they were just about to draw the raffle. And um, before we went, because they drew it at the main, uh, the, the main building. Um, the pavilion, and um, we all sat around there oh, where the yeah. grub was. My, my missus was feeding my youngest, and we all sat there. And yeah, the, just the, the language that was being used was absolutely ridiculous for a start. 
Um, and then the, the raffle draw started. Yeah. Um, and... Now, uh, there were, the, the highest number drawn, there were four different colours. There was blue. The highest number drawn was 260. Uh, there was yellow. The highest number drawn was 40. Uh, pink, the highest number drawn, I think, was 60. And yellow, pink, purple. There was yellow, pink, purple, and and, and blue. And the, the, I think the purple was that the highest one drawn was about 50. So there was over five times the amount of blue tickets in that box as any other color. There were 45 prizes. Someone was obviously and doing I think, a better job of selling raffle tickets than anyone else. Well, the, the yeah, blue yeah. ones the blue were sold ones by their main stand. That, yeah, that yeah. was their main stand. They went in and then they had three other vendors who were selling them whilst they were there. But um, there was five times the amount of blue tickets sold. Right. Yet only four prizes that were drawn were blue. How many prizes were drawn? 45. Basically, you, we, we managed to work out what had gone on. Uh, yeah, was... we, we worked out. We worked out when number 36 yellow, 37 yellow, 39 yellow, and 40 yellow were all drawn. And one reason, after another. And the, and the reason that was so bloody obvious, because he pulled one out and went, anyone there and no one claimed it. And as soon as 36 wasn't claimed, neither was 37 or 39. It was fairly obvious they were on the same bloody strip. And then whoever had got it had fucked off. And yeah, then he came so. back later on. And then, and then there was pink. There was number uh, 14, 16, and 18, I think, something like that, that yeah. were all drawn. Basically, what they'd done is they'd taken around this cardboard box... Once all the tickets have been sold and they put us, they stopped the time on it, which was I think two o'clock because they drew it at half past two. Yeah. Someone had gone around the box to each of the stands that were selling the tickets, and they'd gone right. Put your tickets in there, and then the next layer. Put your tickets in there, and then the next layer. Put your tickets in there, and he was drawing from the same depth at the same point every fucking time. They weren't shook up. They weren't in a tombola spinny doofer. They were in nothing like that. So it was just drawing from the same spot every time. I don't. I don't think it was. Yeah, Mark. Mark Elliott's put someone's rigged to come. I don't think it was rigged. Uh, in, by I don't think either of us would say it wasn't. It, it was rigged. But I mean, even uh, you would have thought if I was pulling it out and I'm got and I've pulled out the third one that is obviously on the same strip, I'd go, I'd be going. Yeah, let's give these a mix up, shall we? Yeah. And, you know, you know, you you kind of try and do something because, or or go. They, yeah, we're not having that one. We'll have another one. Oh, they had one. They had one. Question. Go on. How many tickets did you buy, Chandler? Chandler no. turned up once. Once they've been many, sold. And how many did you buy, Jimmy? Ten. So, you've got more reason to be angry about this. Is this oh, to be fair, mate? To be, to be fair, I, I would have paid the 20 quid as entrance to go to the event, happily. Yeah. And it's it's not about that, dude. What it's about is, if you're going to run a raffle, you run a raffle. If you're going to stick some sticker, some some tickets in a stack and just keep drawing from the same spot, it's not a raffle. All, all, all it needed, I mean, it was the it was the it was it was the cardboard box. They just need they just needed a spinny thing. Yeah. Made it, no, no, it, you no, know, they you, they 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 put the lid on that cardboard box and shook it. That'd have been fine. Well, it, was a village, it was a village photo. All they needed was the tombola. That's yeah. the one. That's it. Yeah. They, they, honestly, and and it had that oh. feel to it, which isn't a negative thing at all. That that type of a fake feel to a family orientated um, vape community event is amazing. And the yeah. the feel and the atmosphere there was was great. I mean. It, it really was. I mean, we got to sit and have some time with some people. For us, recording, we got managed to get around and speak to the people we wanted to speak to. It was great. But that, that really did let it down. That put a real sour taste in my mouth for the rest of the rest of the day. Maybe we need to do a Vape Talk UK show. A Vape Talk UK stroke. It wouldn't... It, 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 really, it really wouldn't hurt if... Um... 
if we did a you know kind of collaboration and gone right vape collective with vape talk uk or whatever you know and, and vaguely vaping you know we're quite happy you know let's let's all turn it into a bit of a event and it, it needs that level of it needed that level of, of push um but as an event uh it, it was i thought it was quite well organized they've got yep. the, the food the food uh the food that was there was reasonably priced wasn't it jim yeah 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 it wasn't they, ridiculously priced at all like a lot of events can be yeah they've got a burger van they've got a chinese noodle bar they've got a donut donut donut, donut place they'd even got a um a, a kiddies a little kiddies I, know, I call it a kiddie stall it was a, a a raffle thing and they've got a kiddies <laughs> Um, lucky dip. Lucky dip. That's the one I'm looking for. They lucky dip, there and they have one of those match the number to win the, the teddy. Yeah. So uh, there was something so, there for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it really was. was. It catered for everyone. You know, I, I wasn't expecting the, the to be a uh, a stall like that. But uh, yeah, my daughter was like, "Oh, can I go? Can I do the lucky dip? Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Off you go." You'd be um, a bit freaked out if said that. I can go blow a cloud. Yeah, yeah, that would have been. <laughs> oh, but I mean, I mean, realistically, if you went to any country show or any of the big shows, um, not get away from vaping for a moment. But if you went to any of the other shows, how much would you pay for a cup of coffee at a show? Two quid. Yeah, I was say six quid maximum. Yeah. This was one pound fifty. There you go. No. Yeah. Four, four freshly made donuts, sugar donuts. Chris, you'll love this bit. How much would you pay for four? I mean, they, they weren't small. They were they were a decent size, you know, decent size donut. How much would you pay for four of them? Two fifty. Yeah, two quid. Yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't ridiculously priced for the food and the drink and and all oh. the rest of it. I mean, what was the lucky dip, Chandler? Pound. Pound. So all the family could go. They could have a decent time. I heard that the beers were about three pound a pint. I didn't. I didn't have any because I was driving. Um, so it wasn't stupidly priced on on that, and it really could be quite a decent little family event. I'll be going next year as long as they're running it again happily. Yeah. I just uh, that one bit that put the real sour taste in my mouth was the fact that it wasn't. It was supposed to be a, a fair thing for everybody to do, and, and it, it ended up not being very fair. It ended up being a bit of a crab shoot. Um, but that, is and, a, but that, is a, that is something they can easily fix, and I'm, yes, I'm fairly yeah, sure, I'm I'm fairly sure they're agree. going to take that feedback and do that. I don't, I don't think you're going to have issues with raffles again, because um, I've heard today that somebody has actually stepped down off the committee. Who? Oh, right. Who? Oh. Okay. Okay. Who has? I, I don't I don't know if he was the person that drew the raffle, but I don't know who it was that drew the raffle, so I can't I, 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 can't, I can't comment. Has it been moaned about a lot in other places? Yes. Has it? I really pay much attention these days. I, I think I think once somebody did a live video as soon as they got back, people realised that they could actually speak their mind. Who did the live video? That might have been me and Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy had just driven back two hours and he was quite tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, the trouble, but the trouble was, friend. I couldn't argue with him. He was, you know. I got a friend. First, first time for everything. That's nice. What? Hello. There's that voice again, Chandler. Sorry. Yeah, where is she? I don't think it's um, oh, yeah, there goes eBay again. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> on the whole, hopefully, hopefully that won't be, a, won't be a problem, but it shouldn't have been a problem in the first place. It should have been, you know, it's, it was a big draw for people. Yeah. It shouldn't have been a, a, a an issue at all. Yeah, but I, I think it's a, I, I think it's, it's, it's something that they can easily sort. And I'm sure if they've heard the. Uh, if they've heard the comments, it isn't a, a that isn't a tough thing to sort. The hardest thing is that the one thing I really don't want to happen is that vendors are put off next year because it was a good event. But I can under, I can I, I, 
um, having done trading events for other things myself, I can understand that when you do an event, you're not doing it. You're not doing it because it's fun. You're doing it because you want to. You want to sell some of your stuff and make a bit of cash. And if you're not selling your stuff and making the cash, you 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 really think hard the next year about going. And yeah, you see to put, to, to go to these events. Yeah, you know, for a for a retailer who's feeding back. Hello. It's not me. Might be Jimmy. Don't know. Um, Is it making back a shot? It won't be. You know they're not. They're not cheap. They're so now, you know, I heard that people actually packed up and went home. I heard a couple of vendors did that on Saturday. Um, which, which is it? Just which isn't good, but, which isn't good, but you can't blame. But in 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 some respects, uh, you can't blame them either. Um, I think the key thing would be actually to get branch out and get some more vendors who would be more interested. Like say, like new up and coming, yeah. Like people yeah. who bring out say like new cotton or new wire, new mods. What you know, whatever they've it got is. Some, yeah, they've got some good. They've got some good up and coming vendors there. Um, they really did. They did they, have. They, they did, did have like, some very good. Well, like the, the first was, collective, there were Evo and TYV, two of the biggest names that yeah. I, and you know, and it were it went up slow. I think it would. It were quite. It were quite busy, wasn't it, Mark? Last one. Um, not last year. The year before, it was. It was. It was busy. And not everyone was busy, but yeah, you know when you. When you walk round, it was busy. It didn't feel like a village fate, you know. From from the understandings that I'm the understanding that I'm getting from people, it was quiet. It was like a car boot sale. But the first one wasn't like that at all. The first one was actually it was actually a really really good event. And. I think it's, this it's was really quite hard because I, I think it was I think it was a, as a I, I can see as a as a as a consumer from the consumer point of view, it was a great event. They've got yeah. they've got enough stores to keep you happy. You can wander around. You can spend all day there. You can spend a shit ton of money if you wanted to. It was it was great. Um, looking at it from a uh, vendor side of things, I can see how the vendors may have thought it was shit, yeah. um, because there was that. Uh, it's the uh, the poor footfall. Uh, beyond it, all I, I, suppose, can, all I, I can I, say I is, think per I think personally that depends on what they thought they were going to get. They were going to be getting what we're expecting. Yeah. I I don't know what it costs to stand there. No, I said this in our live video. I don't know. Um, I don't know the ins and outs of the financial side for for the vendors, but I know of one company in particular who was a brand new company. Um, they did some very interesting juices. I actually bought one short for whilst I was at the show, and that was it. Um, who was it? Was it name drop? Credit where credits due? Yeah, pyramid. Pyramid, Pyramid Vapor. Yeah. Pyramid Vapor, um, brand new company out there. Um, ah, little story for you. I bought a, a juice called Rocket Man, which is a Greek yogurt, blueberry, and savory granola flavored juice. And I, I had it in, and I had it in here. My wife bought Cherry Tunes. What you don't want to do is go and fill your squonker up, your squonk bottle up, in the dark and put her juice in your squonker so you get half and half. Oh, my God. Yeah, I could imagine that. Was it doesn't sense. taste great. Um, but, yeah, that, they uh, – I, I know a little bit more um, about, the, about them and I know that they've done fairly well with um, – vendors selling to business i know they they had some some quite good feedback from from people who own vape companies and vape shops and 
um, and retailers themselves. Um, and I know they're, they're sending out samples and stuff as we speak to certain retailers. Um, there was also the coil, the guy did the coily. Pete's coil, I'm trying to remember his... Uh, who sold the who sold the coily? There you go. I'm going to share my screen. Hang on two seconds. Yeah, you didn't on, send me that link. I didn't. Yeah, I was going to I was going to do this. Share my entire screen and share and coily vape tool. Hey, oh, that is a coily vape tool. Right. So what you, what do you do? Um, it's for it's it's uh, you put your coils in those holes. And then you snip the legs off, and I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me. Use your um, mouse cursor; we'll be able to see it, mate. Can you see my mouse cursor? Yeah. Hey, yeah. okay. right. So you put your so you these gaps here. You put on your uh, on the leg of your atty that you're about to screw your wire into. Yeah, you with me? Yeah. So that tells you the diameter of the uh, of the leg. So you then so say it's that one. You then drop your coils in these holes, and you cut underneath. And then your legs on your coil are exactly the right length to fit in your atty without you needing to trim them afterwards. Chandler, can you hit the the left the go up with your cursor? That one. that one. So you put your so coils through, through, and then you trim. trim. Them. Yeah, so you trim them so they're flush with the with the coiling, and then that makes your legs the right length, so you don't have to trim them when uh, when you're installing it. Makes it a lot easier for Genesis atties when you see so you don't have to try and get your pliers or your cutters behind coils that are already installed. Yeah. But it's also for people who who have um, dexterous issues and stuff. You know, people we, who've, who've got issues we with... Mr. with uh, we have Mr. Damon in the chat this evening. He was the organiser for the first Vape Collective. Mm. Hey. Um, I'm just going to invite somebody else in um, to join us. Um, An orgy tonight, guys. Huh? An orgy tonight. I know. I mean, there's five of us as is. Now, now the person I'm bringing in, apart from being very, very scared of um, clowns. Um, oh God! <laughs> you sorry, Chandler, I'm still sharing your face, Chandler. Um, he's he was obviously at the first vote collective, and as I said, the first vote collective was great. Really, 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 really enjoyed it. It was a quality weekend. We camped. And we had great fun. We've always been a bit camp. A little bit camp. A little bit camp. Um, now, now, James, who's about to come in... It's Ginger. Apart from being Ginger. It's unfortunate, but... He can't help it. He can't help it. You know, it's genetic. The same as yeah. you can't help being fat. Well, I suppose you can. It's a thyroid problem. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a fucking <laughs> jaw problem. It's a jaw problem. You eat too much. Um... Yeah, it'd be interesting because because James is obviously there on the first vote collective, and he went to this one as well. So it'd be interesting to find out what his thoughts were and comparisons between vote collective one and vote collective two. James, go. I've just joined. What did you say? <laughs> I was just saying that obviously you were there at the first vote collective. Yeah. Um, I was saying that. Me personally, I the first vote collective was great. I really enjoyed the first collective. Uh, I enjoyed the fact that my head bowed. I must my sorry, stay out my eyes. Um, there was a lot bigger names there last year. I'm not going to say we're a big name, but you know what I mean. I'm not trying to blow smoke up two Ivy's ass or anything like that. Year before we there, last year, Evo year were there. The big circus tent was there. That's that's always draws a crowd with Manor Bush and all them. They were there. Um, we had a World Series of Cloud Chase in an hour ten. We released at Home Do at Collective, the first six a.m. and eight thirty, and it was a really good event. We put a lot of effort into it, and it paid off. 
this year, I think I did a lap in about five minutes, if that. Seven, you said and, on your video? Oh, well, five. But between five and seven, if you stop to have a a better look than I did, but no, it didn't. I, it didn't take long. I went down on the Friday night just to see Stu and everyone, and I thought I can't be bothered driving in the morning, so I'll, I'll, I'll go down. I'll stop the night. I wish I never got out of the car on Saturday morning. To be honest, I honestly thought you're sleeping people... in the car, you tramp. Of course, I slept in my car. I'm not sleeping in a tent. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm glad I slept in my car because. Bless the Vulcan lot. They hardly got any sleep because about two o'clock in the morning, someone was spewing next to their tent. Nice. <laughs> so, so, James, what what were the positives? Leaving. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the food is the food was still good there. Mm. I must. Have, that's one good thing about collective is they don't overcharge on food and drink. That's one good thing. Like. Everyone knows it best. You, you need a sorry, tenant. sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Is anyone else staring at the the fly on James's wall? <laughs> no, what that there? No, no, it was to the further right. Sorry, carry it's, on, James. It's but... off now. It's fine. <laughs> I'm coming live. From... Use him now. I'm coming live from Tom's old bedroom. Is that from Tom... there? Is this that is a nail? Tom... Yeah, that's a nail. This is Tom's old house. What did it smell like when you moved in? It's all right now. I've got new carpets and everything in here. Behave yourselves. Um, Tom, well, <laughs> Tom likes a cheeky ham sandwich. No joking. But no, yeah, but let's say the food there's good. Everyone knows it's best. You need a tenner just for breakfast. Yeah. It, but I just, I felt like it, it needed, it needed people to jump onto it. And I think the gap in between it didn't help it it didn't have a chance to grow if you know what i mean we have a request for a hair wobble from james there you go uh, but i don't think the gap in between because obviously the, the first one was two years ago now yeah and even when yeah. i was there i kept saying last year i'm like no it was two years ago i don't think yeah. that gap i don't think that gap helped it it needed no. it needed some more big names to jump aboard it needed a bigger push on social media Thing. Who did it better? Oh, definitely. Who did it better? The current, the current. Uh, I'm not saying I don't. Want, like I say, I don't want a bad mouth for show. I, I wasn't. It was. I'm not. I'm not. I'm asking the bad was, mouth. Here. I'm asking who did it I'm better. Not, we're not. We're not having not been to the. Not I to think been, if you put the two together and try again next year, third time lucky. Hopefully, yeah. it need it, it needs a bigger push. Maybe a different location because that one it, it is a bit of an odd location. I drove past it again this year. You, you don't See, I, I came. You don't I came off to go into a car looks... dealership to go to a vape show. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it does look a bit weird. Yeah, I, I, I came off the six, off the A six thirty, and it was signposted. Yeah, oh, I I wasn't paying attention. I drove past it last last time, and I drove past it this time. Yeah, I drive I drove past it, but you know, and I I I know I don't, I don't say I know Doncaster. Very well, but I, I I know my way in and out. Of I think a bit of a bigger location, like, like an actual showground or something like that, not just a random cricket pitch. And uh, you know what I mean. I think the issue with that, I think the issue with that then is that they would then have to charge more per pitch, yeah. and then your food to, would then become more yeah, expensive. Fair enough, they would have to charge more, uh, and I don't I, I don't disagree with charging more. But if it was a bigger show, if there's a bigger place, they know it can attract more people. Do a bigger push on it, get some big names back in there again. Could be they'd a be, good show. They'd be they'd be as well sticking with where they are, and and just just promoting it more. If they could get if they could get more people to attend it, I, um, they, then it can grow from there. But as it is, the um, thing, the, the thing where it's now, with how it was this weekend, just gone. I can't see many other people wanting to. You know, uh, this, uh, this is the thing. Were, the, this that, is that, the field field like, that field did give them room to expand. They yeah. that was we weren't even they weren't even using a quarter of that, it that was, pit. Well, as I say, the first year was an open square. It was there were three sides. This mm, year, it, yeah. was, it was just an L. Yeah, Damon's just said that he checked out loads of showgrounds. The cost is crazy prohibitive for a startup. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought, I can I imagine. Thought it would be, but saying that, you get a, you get a lot more people, you get a lot more names in there. You'd, you'd be better off having a word with a local farmer and getting a, a piece of flat, yeah. a, yeah. a flat field. Just get yeah. a field on the outskirts of Doncaster. If you if you want to keep it around Doncaster, you'd be better off keeping it on the outskirts where people can get to it yeah, easier. The pro- problem is then you've got no electricity. Got yeah. No- you say that no every, bar. You say that, but every tent there had generators. Had generator. Everyone every had a generator. Had generators. You know, bar. It, it wasn't really. Who you could bar? You couldn't run a power cable out there. You couldn't run a power cable from the main area out there because you'd have been trip hazard. Everyone was running off generators. You say, you say they're into bar. Who needs a bar, really? Everyone takes their own beer. Everyone sits and have their own little parties, and everyone walks around. You know what I mean? And how hard is it? How hard would it be to set up a beer tent? Yeah, you, you don't yeah. need a bar. Yeah. In all what about fairness. shitters and showers? I'm not being funny. Everyone they've got, can manage. Euro Lou. They've got they've got port they've got port there anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um. So the only the only thing that would be the only issue you would have having it in the field. Is that if it does piss it down with rain, you're going to get cars stuck on it for parking. Um, yeah. Whereas at least you've got hard stand in there for for parking. Um, there's the swings and roundabouts. The, 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 yeah, there were. They I don't were think cool. I don't think I don't think the venue the, the venue isn't as much as a, a, of a no. problem. It's it's getting the it's getting the punters there in the first place. Well, I'm not being funny. If they called one of the 52 vape shops within a 10 mile radius of the event and yeah, yeah. posters if they if they had i mean if they had uh, if they had vape fest in a i, I mean a vape fest was in a small cricket ground that a folk could still come to that and all if they contacted you know the, I mean? the two vape shops i guarantee yeah you, they said that 12 year competition are going people would fork out the 100 120 200 quid whatever it was yeah. for a pitch so yeah they would have had 52 extra pitches and 52 extra people advertised it. Yeah. If they just made fucking few phone calls. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, even if they're called 52, even if even if 10 percent, even if five percent said, um, "Oh yeah, we'll have a we'll we'll have a pitch," you know, you're looking at you're looking at another three, uh, another three uh, vendors. Yeah, and, and, if, and, if, and if only, yeah, but and then if you only if you only had half of them advertising, oh. Oh, I mean, and wait, how many vendors were there? Thirty-ish. Yeah, about that. Let's yeah. say they paid two hundred each. Invite sixty people for a hundred pound each. Oh, yeah. You get sixty vendors there. You're getting the same money. Yeah. At the end of the day, well, if you know what I mean, I, see, I, I don't know. And they would have brought it. And they, they might have brought in more revenue at the bar, which would have put, uh, put yeah. them in a better light with the uh, the, uh, the venue owners. I mean, I don't go to shows now to look at stuff. I go to see people we haven't seen for yeah. a while. Yeah. So, so they did invite or contact 52 shop, like local shops, and 30 agreed. You wouldn't want 30 shops in one place Selling the same stuff. How do you know they're all selling the same stuff? No, but that's what I'm saying. If they sell the same stuff, like dinner ladies, you, you stand like uh, dinner ladies. TYV, I know. Obviously, you know there's a lot in Yorkshire because you're the old, you're also a manager, James. You know exactly where it's going. You know which shops have got what. So if you so say out them fifty out them fifty two local shops, thirty go. I mean, how many of them are going to have minikins? Not many uh, these days. Not many. Smock, how many smock kits are going to be there? Yeah, but you don't want the same stuff. You yeah, want that, that happens at a lot of events. All of the big distro companies that are at these events, all of the big wholesalers that are, that are at these events, all of these bigger named shops that sell everything are at these events, including at Expo, including uh, Vape Jam. And then you've also got the people that make the products there often. Yep. So you have the, the vendors that make the products that five different shops that sell them. What's the, dif- what's the difference? But it's you see, for me, for me, it's completely different. Okay, so if it if it was me, I'd want to get 
the independents on. I'd want to get the smaller businesses on. Yeah, absolutely. Make yeah. make it make it financially vi viable, if not free, I mean, to the small ones. To the you to, are the, to the small modders, right? Where where you charge your bigger money is to the likes of TYV, is to the likes of Flawless, is to the likes of the bigger ones that are going to draw the crowds. Well, chances as well, as well chances chances are that you're going to get. Um, yeah, but um, saying that you can't but, discriminate. You no, can't you, what, say, no, 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 you can. You can. You can. You can. You get your bigger. You get your your, your bigger vendors. So your your Vapesk, your TYV, your whoever. Chances are they're going to want. They're going to want. Uh, pitch size, you know, yeah. a, big, exactly. a big pitch size. Exactly. You've got some. You've got someone who's selling half a dozen yeah. half a dozen mods. They're going to want a six foot table, and that will be it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. You see, you don't discriminate. You just make it. Yeah, you make it yeah. available. You can't. Hang on. You can't. Hang on. You can't I can't imagine TYV going. Oh yeah, I'll have a six foot table. That'll be no, fine. Yeah, like yeah, you're you're market banners and yeah, you're cases. Talking market. Be honest. It's a yeah. market store. We all know Dale. If we had a six foot table, it would be the best six foot table you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would cover it. Oh, food. oh yeah. You are all missing one little trick, though. Go on. Sponsorship. It was oh, sponsored. Was it? Yeah. Was it sponsored the event? Who I sponsored that event? I thought it had sponsors, I can't remember. If they invited well, that, people like that, um, if, they, if they had got sponsors, if we don't know who they were, that felt that fell flat on its face. See, they should have contacted like Sub Own Magazine. They yeah. they know the Vapor value. Round were there. Vapor Round Bus was Vapor there. there. Yeah, Vapor Round Bus was there. Yeah, well, they should have they should have contacted the likes of like Sub Own Magazine because they would have they would have paid to be there. Do you know what I mean? They would have paid, or they've given them a, a coverage in their magazine. That could have been fucking hugely more beneficial than the money. Let's, let's page, be, let's, I know. Let's be perfectly honest. A double page strip that, in there costs about nine hundred quid. If they offered you a single page, it's about four eighty or five hundred quid. Do you know what I mean? Some of them are like thousands. I can't even remember what the pricing is, but you know, if they offered you they, a single page that's worth five hundred quid, it's a lot more important than a hundred quid you get for the pitch. But they could have ended up with free advertisement, Chris. That's what how, I'm saying. How hard, how hard would it have been for them to, for whoever's organising it, to send yourself or Chandler or Mark an email or a message on Facebook saying, don't suppose you could just mention the event. It's coming up in a couple of weeks. Any chance you can start drumming up a little bit? And all we never received it no. as a podcast. But we, saying that though, it's not just the organisers' fault. It's no, no, no. Some of the vendors it's, who were also we, going, they we should invited be vape, well. We invited yeah. Vape Collective on the show, and they were busy. Did we? Yeah, last week. Oh, it wasn't it last week? Um, we, I've, we, just, I've just tried a to podcast do a podcast recently. Um, and um, typed in Vape Collective. Um, vape Collective 2018, UK's biggest vape festival. Ha <laughs> yeah, wait, what? I did wonder Just how they get away with that one. Look, looking for a bit of information, and um, the site's gone. What? That's been removed. What now? What's Already been removed? I've tried clicking about. Yeah, the site can't be reached. What? <laughs> there was. A, I know there was a lot of vendors who pulled out. They didn't actually turn up because I've seen them on. The, I'm not going to name them, but I saw them on the list, and they weren't there. No, no. And it's gone. And pulled out last minute. Yeah, yeah. I, honestly, right? I, I went to bed on the Friday expecting a few people to turn up on the Saturday, pitch up, ready. Because it was a 10 o'clock start, so you've got plenty of time to get there for eight, two hours setting up. It's, anyone can do that. No one did. But but as a community, it, it, it's it's sort of... It's not our problem, but I think it's a problem that we could all resolve being part of this community. You know, we're all part of this fake community. So I'd like to have a quick round the table discussion from each of you to find out what you would do to help the event for next year. What should they do next year? Because hopefully they'll watch this, you know, and hopefully someone, someone on the committee will watch this and they'll take something from it. Because... I want to. I want it to succeed. I want to be able to go with my family next year. I want yeah. it to grow. 
It's only half I don't an hour want away from me. On. It's two hours away from me. I still fucking went. Yeah. Drove with my kids and my wife for two hours there and two hours back. Thankfully, on the way back, they were all asleep. Apart from this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I drove two hours to go to the event and I will drive two hours next year if it's in Doncaster again, because I want it to succeed. I'm a part of this community and, and I support some of the vendors that were there. Well, I support all the vendors that were there. In fact, I didn't see, I saw one that I wasn't very pleased about the advertisement of, of one of their juice lines, but that was the only one that was there and it wasn't that prominent. Um, but yeah, it'd just be quite interesting to find out what you would all what you would all do differently, Chris. Uh, I've already banged on about mine, which is contact all the local shops in the area and go through there. I mean, I'm just been looking for vape collectives advertising. And there are some, but they're on like ten times dot com. Never heard of it. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people that have signed up as visitors. So. That makes me believe that the footfall there is going to be pretty terrible, I'd imagine. Um, wait a minute. Vape Collective, 8th to the 10th of June 2018, Parkland Sport and Social Club, Doncaster. Vendors list. On this vendors list, there is the Grumpy Vapor. Did Damon stand? Damon actually put in chat that he, he was um he was going but he uh for the reasons they pulled out which he said it was a shame. Well, All right. Uh, well, no, no, uh, no, no. Oh there it is. I think the main issue was the lineup, such a shame I had to pull out, but it was for the best at the time. No, I think you mean I had to pull out of setting up the event. Maybe. Uh there's also a vapeshows.com. Never heard of it. Um, there's a bit of a write-up about it, it's just not bad, but it's advertised as the address is Nissan Garage, is that right? Yeah. It was, it it was behind was. the Nissan Garage, yeah. If you, if yeah. You... It's because they had two entrances, Chris, and that was that was the easiest one to, well, that was okay. the one the main, they... The main, yeah, the main yeah. entrance off the dual carriageway has been, has been shut off for years and that was the entrance that google maps took me to it didn't, it, it didn't take it didn't take jimmy jimmy went to it, google maps took jimmy straight to it to yeah. be fair like with, with it being a nissan garage they've got a massive fucking pile on in the middle of their in the middle of their forecourt with nissan written on it so if you'd seen that you'd have known straight away you see, it, it, it can't be easy can't to be set easy. up uh, no and I've got a hell of a lot of respect for the guys mm. that that did this, that went ahead and put on this show. You know, um, I the biggest thing, yeah, the biggest thing is it was not. It was a good show. It just didn't yeah. have. It just didn't have the amount of people there that it deserved. That's why I'd like to see. That's why I'd like to see a positive discussion on it as to what can they yeah. do to improve it next year. That's what I said. Chris, contact, contact, contact to, everyone within like a 50, 100 mile radius. Every single one of them. It would cost absolutely fuck all in phone bills. You could design a, a handout that they could print out in their own shops. You could yep. offer them reduced price pitches because they're close to the area. Uh, you, you know, you could offer market store size pitches. Because you know, small vendors won't need a fucking twelve by twelve yeah. ten. Um, and yeah, that's my plan if I was doing it. Jono, for me, it'd be probably face Facebook's key for me. Facebook, your groups. Although, yeah, yeah they did advertise it on their own group. I think it. it I say it wouldn't have killed them, but just a message admin of other pages says, right, we've got an event um like a month away can we advertise for the next couple of weeks the next few weeks just saying you know it's coming up soon you know it's like um two girls one vape fifteen thousand members like addiction five thousand suicide mods nearly six thousand you know I mean? planet a lot of people huh? yeah. vapors planet's like twenty thousand people in yeah it. exactly exactly so i mean to be, to be fair, people 
I mean, we, we run a group where there's no sales page. You guys run a group where there's no sales page, but you're not selling something. You're not. So you could approach any of the groups and say, look, you know, we, we've got this event coming up. Do you mind if we pop it on? Yeah, and every you know, admins admins, admins are listed. You know what? You know what I'd do? Is I would go to all the all the bigger vape groups yeah. and offer them a free stand. By offering them a free stand, all their members are going to go yeah. and meet all the other members, and it turns into a social. Rather than yeah. a sell, 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 which obviously the vendors are going to do, they need to sell. They need to cover their cost of being there for that weekend. You know what? Yeah. There, there goes my idea. I completely... That, that's that's what it's I called, Vape Collective. It's like, no, James, uh, you've got to think of another one. <laughs> vape, vape Festival with SV, don't they? Yeah. They've always done that. That was that was my idea, and they always have free beer in that in that tent all day, whatever it is, and it's that's paid gross. for by the members, so it's nothing. Yeah. It's it doesn't cost anything to them. No, um, I, I hate to be negative, but it's the only show I'm not really wanting to be there, and I never get that. And that's I, cool. Next year, I, I, different I, though. I might not have give it enough chance. I don't know. I I, I left. I probably left about three o'clock on Saturday, and. Uh, it just needs a bigger push. It, it just needs pushing. Yeah. It does. Facebook is is a massive. Pl- I use it every day for work. I contact shops every day. It is every, what shops these days don't aren't on a Facebook. They don't have their own page, or they're mm-hmm. not associated with a group. Or it, it's hard nowadays. And there's so many live feeds that go on nowadays. Yeah. Smash it out. Push it. It, it can be easily done. I reckon I I know it, it won't be the easiest thing in the world to organise something like that, but I reckon you could give a really good fucking go at it. I mean, look at Fest; they started in a pub. Look at it now. Yeah, I mean, I'd be I'd be contacting I'd be contacting uh, Dean, us, uh, Mark, Todd. You know the 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 YouTube reviewers. You know, all they need to all they need to do is go. By the way, don't forget, tickets are now available for, and, and that's 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 all they really need to say. I'd yeah, like to, I'd like to take it one step further than that. If a, a vape reviewer said, "I'm going to be at this event," yeah, yeah, straight away. I mean, it might be twenty, but you know, you're going to have more people there. Straight away, people will just be going, do you know what? He's just down the road. I don't get to see him because all the rest of the events are in London or Birmingham. I'm in the north. I don't get to travel. Do you know what? I'm going to go. Well, it, well, someone... it, needed, it needed some vape famous people someone to be like, going. Someone like Todd, he is very well known. Let's say the yep. pitches are £200. Do it for 210 Pay for his train down. Pay for his hotel. Get him yeah. in there. What's a tenner extra to everyone? It, it, it's nothing. You know what I mean? To be fair, if they knew that Mark Top was going there, it wouldn't even require that. It would just be, would require more vendors. But more vendors would come because Mark Todd's going to be there. You know, you, rather than having 30 pitches, you'd have sold 60 pitches. If yeah. you knew that he was going to come. You know, or Richard Vick, or... I don't know, any of them. Dean, but I don't know, Dean, with Dean, it's a bit of the travel side is a, is a little bit of a, a hard thing for him at the minute. For him, yeah. But get someone on board. Get, get, um, uh, survey plot. Get, get someone. Uh, I will apologize to the organizers for me being negative about it, but I, I, it's just, it, it's just my opinion. Most people don't like my opinion anyway, but I, I'm sorry, I'm just giving it. James, uh, you and me are in the same boat. Most people don't like my opinion. However, this might be the kick in the pants they need for next year. And I hope it is. Mm. You know, I, mean, I want to go back next year. I, mean, I want to go 20, 2019 and come back out of it going, do you know what? The fucking changes that were made to that event, it's 10 yeah. times better than it was last year. It was 10 times bigger. Had a fantastic weekend. You know, I mean, I mean yeah, yeah. I mean, Damien, Damien Mortar lives in Barnsley. Uh, SVB mods are Barnsley. Neither of which, you know, I, I'm not... It, it's, Nigel, eh? Sorry? Nigel Moxon was there. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, Nigel Moxon. Sorry, Nigel was there. Yeah, yes, apologies. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not knocking 
um, Damien for not going, but you know, it wouldn't have taken much to. I'm I don't know. I don't know whether they did contact him. They might have done. I'm pretty sure Damien was there the first year, and he was on stage singing. Yeah, he did. He did. Mm. That was really good to watch that as well. But that's the type of thing. That's the sort of thing that this that, that event could could be known for. Every yeah. each event has got its own little thing that it's known for. This, I think, I think collective just needs to have something. They need to pull something together and just be known for that little one niche thing to draw everyone there. It's like why not? It's why like not this, have live bands on? This show's finished. It was a week ago. I'd have already had a post out now saying next. Vape Collective 2019, start jumping on board now. If that was done and gone. Forget about it. You move on. And this is done. what we're going to do next yeah. year. This, this is what we're planning. These are the ideas we've got. What do you think about this? The last thing you know, to give up how, how this could it really realistically be to have a stage there and have a comedian, a local comedian on, or a local act? Or... It, needs, it, needs the, it needs the encouragement for people to camp. And uh, yeah, having having a having a, a, a turn on or a band on or something in the evening to in, encourage the okay. evening because because as it as it was it was it was five o'clock and done. A closing thought then, because we're we're running close. Do you think that Vape Collective can recover, or do you think that's it? Absolutely. I fucking hope. I hope it can recover. It can. It's easily done. I think it can. I think it can if it takes on board constructive criticism as opposed to just getting down in the dumps about it and takes all of this on board as constructive criticism, which is exactly how it's meant. Because as I say, I want it hand on heart to succeed. I think we all do. The the the, the hardest the hardest bit they're going to have have to do is to uh, is to actually convince vendors. That it's worth going next year. That's that's going to be their. Gonna that be is going to be anymore. that is going to be that that is going to be their hardest job. Um, no, disagree. You isn't... pull one big vendor on, you'll yeah, pull no. on. Yeah, no, that's fine. But they're going to have a hard job. You try getting that big vendor now. And you think it's worth their time? That's going to be their challenge. Yeah, it depends on what they decide to do differently next year. If they if they came to TYV in a month's time and went, look, we know what went wrong last year. We've all learned from it. You have to make mistakes in order to learn. Everyone has to make mistakes in order to learn. This is what we did wrong. We we've recognised this. This is what we're doing now. This is what we've got planned for 2008, 2019. What do you reckon? I think it will take some persuading because obviously they'll. At the end of the day, he's a businessman. He, he looks <sighs> Community, as much as we all do, but and he is a businessman. It's got to be worthwhile for him. As as it stands, I I wouldn't vend, and I actually feel as though I dodged a bullet by not vending this year. But the, but then again, if you went, if Dale went, if other people went, it could have been a completely different show. Yeah. So it so so what we're saying is it's our fault then, James. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard. What they what they need what they what they need what they need to do is, is they need to put some effort into the to the marketing to encourage people to go to give the vendors the confidence that it's going to be worth their while going. Hopefully, someone sees and we'll this now, this. and you'll see yeah. a post tomorrow. That's what that would be really good. It needs to start. Yeah, need, we need to because because vape fest, vape fest. We would at, at vape fest. We will know the dates for vape fest 2019 yeah. by the end of the show. This year we don't know. We don't even know and if it's going to happen. People have already signed up that yeah. weekend while they're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, go, going back to what you said, though, Mark, about being your fault. No, but I, I do believe it goes hand in hand with the with the vendors and and the organisers to to both promote the show, as James said earlier on, and we, it gains more traction. So if people know they're putting on a show and this is what they're going to be doing it brings on vendors vendors bring on more customers and, and, and more traction then that allows the, the organizers to then go and get more vendors to come and it just slowly builds and it will snowball and i hope it does i mean you keep going back to fest but how many how many years was it in a pub with 12 people one one 
Oh, no, so it was one, and then they did no. a little bit bigger one, didn't they? And then it went massive. They did a bigger one. They did a bigger one, which was twice as big. And then the third year, it was fucking massive. It just explodes, and it does. You see, it, you see I had fun. every intention of. I spoke to uh, Stuart. I spoke to Stu, and I had every intention of standing at this collective. Every intention. But as I'm watching their page, as I'm watching their website, as I'm watching their Facebook group, they're giving me no incentive to be there. No. no. And that, that hardest, was my issue. How the many vendors dropped out the same way that I did? How many vendors were sat there watching thinking, you know what, it's not enough? It's yeah. not enough. I think I think what happened though also with that, as I said about gaining traction, the, the the lack of traction just drops the same. As soon as you get one big player who drops out, other people go, Well, it's not worth me going, it's not worth me going, it's not worth me going, and then you've got twenty who just drop out. The hardest, so you've got the hardest, to... thing, the hardest thing for me was when uh, it was it was on this show last last Tuesday that um I think Craig mentioned in chat you need to get your free ticket online. So um <laughs> I don't uh, think they would have anyone away. Yeah. Of but I went on the I went on the website and it actually says how many tickets are left, and there was two thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven. There was two thousand six hundred and sixty-eight when I went on. There was there was two thousand six hundred and sixty-seven when I went on, and that was Friday night. And I had but, eight minutes. But that that was the funny off. thing when I mentioned that on the show last week. Chandler, you had no idea you were going. I was going. I was, I was just going. I was just going to turn up. And, and to be honest, if I'd have just turned up, I wouldn't have been any the wiser that I needed a ticket. There you go. I'll, they checked I'll, for a ticket. I'll openly no. admit this no. now. I'll openly admit this. I didn't know about them tickets. I went on the website on the Friday before I went. I got to the show, not vending. Drove straight in, parked right next to someone's tent. Didn't show anyone ticket. No one asked who I was. And no. I just stopped there in my car. No one said a button to me. Hmm? No, same with me. I, I drove on, parked in the car park. I didn't drive I didn't on the park field. In the car park. I drove onto the field. Yeah, no, we, we pulled up. No one checked our ticket. No one asked us throughout the whole day, anything. Mm. I think they were just pleased that we came. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Fairhurst. They saw a people carry thought. They saw a people carry turn up and went, "Fuck me!" We just doubled the crowd. And if <laughs> David's watching, I didn't do any donuts this year. Just let you know. <laughs> <laughs> but for those that don't know, um, James in year one, um, it was who was it? James's. Yeah. It was Burr's Evo, wasn't it? No, it was a GTR. Uh, Mr. Burr's GTR, he decided to do donuts on the field and totally upset Mr. Fairhurst. Uh, ben has just said, they were put in a delicate position when I left and I don't apologise for that, but I reckon it was an, up -struggle, an uphill struggle from there. Damon, we love you. You did a cracking job in year one. Um, I sincerely hope year three, this year was year two, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I sincerely hope that year three, you're going to smash it, you're going to kick ass, you're going to have the vendors that yeah. you deserve, um, and next year, you know, you'll have 100 vendors, 200 vendors, 300 vendors, and it's going to be fucking incredible. On that note, I'm going to thank Chris, Chandler, James, Jimmy, uh, Jono, why, Jono. Everyone, Jono. why is everyone James? And, and myself. Um, we're going to end it here. Thank you very much for joining us. Have you got the outro? Oh, yeah, the outro. I've not got the outro ready. Oh, oh, come on, ready. Man. oh uh, Mark. <sighs> yes. One one last thing. Uh, episode 28 of the Vaguely Vaping Related podcast is out. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> uh, oh, I need, to see, I need to see this one. Oh, don't, oh, don't have someone them. quite pissed up on this one. Oh, we had a very, very drunk person on it. It is funny <laughs> as hell. He, he'd been out. Uh, it, it, it's, it's our, it's our, um, it's our mod maker Rick Grove, and he had been to the pub. He, he, he went to the pub at three in the afternoon, and had been drinking all afternoon. All and, and he came straight from the pub to do the recording of the podcast at nine o'clock. With a at night. 
<laughs> four pints of ale, four drank pints. it, and then went to the fridge and got more. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He was slightly inebriated. Look, look, if you do nothing else, if you do nothing else, download the podcast, scoot right to the end and listen to the bits that I stuck on the end. Um, cause the they last were... 30 seconds. That'll yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. That will give you that'll give you an idea of the rest of this. You'll probably want to listen to the rest of it then. Yeah. I had to do some I had to do some serious editing. All right, this is Event Talk UK. Mark, have you got that fucking video yet? Um, I have. I'm just getting a link to. <laughs> See, Chris doesn't like us plugging the, the, the podcast. Well, you never fucking invite uh, me on. The only time I was ever mentioned about it was when he called it Palm Olive. Well, we, we had Mark on. Oh, really? And he plugged the hell out of me for the UK. Yeah, he did. Well, Chandler should be doing that anyway. <laughs> Chris. We do? Chris. Yes, mate. Before I go. Think of it. I love it. This is my second one. <laughs> He's got I, uh, two of them. Oh, Chris, answer this debate. What? Which? What? Which version is this with the bottom? Uh, with the cap? Yeah, yeah. got uh, air flows. V one. E. I've got a V one and a V two. Then this is the V one. This is a. Uh, I heat treated this earlier. Ooh. That's a heat treated Vulcan. Right, if anyone uh, wants to join us after the show, I'm just about to put a link into the Vote Talk UK Facebook group. Don't do it yet, Mark. Huh? Let me talk to you first, then, but then do it. I'm, I'm not going to send it just yet. Play After a video, you. man. There we go. See you next Tuesday. Okay. So, hope you all have a cracking week. Um, I've got the video ready now. Um <laughs> 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 All this filling is, is just while you're trying to uh, find the, the end credits. Uh, uh, and hopefully you'll get to see everyone dancing away to this. Have a cracking week, guys. We'll see you next week. Love you, bye. No. Still like. Bum's terrible. This is where you're supposed to press the button that turns us off.